what's going on guys? My name is Madison Jonathan from MLC Tech and today we're going to be talking about Intel's AI and accelerator strategy, including the next generation Gaudi 3 and Falcon Shores accelerator, which reveals how Intel is bringing AI to the enterprise and all aspects of the data center segments with its hardware products and software stack. So sit back and relax as we dive into everything Intel and artificial intelligence. Now, of course, AI has become the massive trend it is in the industry with the likes of AMD and Nvidia in tight competition for the hardware to be used for this very case. But I have to say with Intel's latest announcements, I was actually very impressed with what they were doing. So of course, I just had to make a video about this. But taking a look at Intel's approach, they have seemed to have developed a full on enterprise AI stack of products, which is a combination of hardware and AI applications and software developed using open standards that are possible with OpenVINO and the Intel developer Cloud One API and Synapse. Again, a common theme that I love to highlight on this channel is when companies take open source and open standards to develop products, a certain sentiment that a certain NVIDIA doesn't seem to share. So of course, if I see anyone implementing open standards, of course, they're going to get points from me. The hardware is segmented into three different branches, that being data center, which comprises of scalable systems, accelerators and CPUs, and then their network and equipment, which is open standards, configurability and infrastructure. And then they have their client and edge hardware, which is their AI PCs, MPUs, GPUs, and also CPUs. And now for quite some time, NVIDIA has been the sole supplier of high performance and capable of hardware accelerators in the market. But this has since changed with the likes of Intel and AMD, along with other companies out there prepping for new solutions. And they're shaping up to be very performant and brilliant pieces of hardware. Though I do need to note that is on paper for now as they haven't been officially released yet. But in theory, the hardware looks very impressive. Now, Intel wants to establish itself as the clear alternative to the market leader. And at the same time, they're going to establish leadership in Pacific markets and workloads. We recently saw benchmarks from Stability AI showcasing Intel's Gaudi 2 hardware, offering a three times boost in performance in this workload at a very similar and competitive price. And now Intel states, in terms of pricing, Gaudi 2 is based on the same process as the NVIDIA A100, which is TSMC's 7 nanometer process. But the key difference between NVIDIA's approach and Intel's is that their customers are seeing up to three times performance improvements in stability diffusion and generation AI workloads. And this means that you can get a lot more cost savings using Gaudi 2 compared to NVIDIA's A100. And the Gaudi 2 hardware also excels over the latest H100 GPU from NVIDIA in certain workloads, which is exactly what Intel is going for for now. And they hope their hardware will scale the leadership beyond here. And it's important to note that Gaudi 2 isn't even Intel's latest and greatest. Taking a look at Intel's roadmap, they still have Gaudi 3 positioned as the follow up to Gaudi 2 and Falcon Shores beyond that. Now, Intel has stated that Gaudi 3 accelerators have already completed development and are in its validation labs as of right now and will generally be available in Q4 of 2024. And now Gaudi 3 will be available through a broad range of ecosystems of OEMs and also in the Intel Developer Cloud. Now, in terms of hardware, the Gaudi 3 AI accelerator will use the same high performance architecture as Gaudi 2 with significant advances in computing capabilities. Now, if Intel is to be believed, you are getting four times the compute performance and two times the networking bandwidth and also 1.5 times the HP memory bandwidth. And the higher capabilities are to allow for larger models to run on this hardware. Now, taking a slight look ahead to the future, the Falcon Shores lineup will be the first GPU architecture designed solely for AI workloads. It combines the best of Gaudi AI's IP as well as Intel's GPU technology into a converged product offering. The development of Falcon Shores is well underway and is aiming for a 2025 launch. And now one major concern for AI developers is that migrating to new hardware comes with issues such as modifying the code to enable support for the new accelerators. Though according to Intel, most developers are working on the high level of the stack. Examples of this include Hugging Face, Mosaic, ML and PyTorch. 
And with Intel software solutions, they can leverage the fact that with just a few lines of code in their Python script, they can migrate existing models to new ones. And now Intel's model migration requires just three to five lines of code to migrate existing or new models to the new hardware. For higher level software, Intel offers migration support from NVIDIA to its entire Gaudi and even next generation Falcon Shores accelerators. Intel is also working on adding low level models such as OpenAI's Triton and TPC-C to support Falcon Shores GPUs when moving on from NVIDIA hardware. And now while Intel was on the topic of its AI roadmap and accelerators, they also took a chance to talk about their China plans which as of late has been a bit of a controversial and touchy issue with all the restrictions and regulations around this. But Intel still says that it's that they fully comply with the regulations from US authorities and that new variations based on Gaudi hardware are being adopted to make sure they are exportable to China. And then when asked if Intel was going after training and inference segments, Intel stated that they were aiming to do both. Generative AI and large language models are the ones driving the demand at the moment and the video in Investical last year also stated that the AI demand coming from Gen AI is going to be huge and that applies to all hardware vendors including Intel. Now Intel expense the inference demand will increase over time but they are currently focused on providing a complete package that excels at both training and inference tasks. But that is Intel's current AI strategy and their roadmap for the future of their software and also hardware accelerators. If Intel can stay true to the word, then this is going to be super impressive to see out on the market and will bring very tough competition to the likes of Nvidia, which quite frankly is much needed in the industry due to just how much Nvidia is charging for its hardware lineup. And who knows, maybe if there's strong competition in this super high end AI market, then this could push innovation in GPU technology, which could trickle down to the consumer for the likes of the mainstream and gaming lineup of cards. So strong competition in every aspect of the market can only be good for us consumers at home. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts around us in the comments down below. What do you make of Intel's current AI strategy and roadmap? And do you think that this could deliver the strong performance and competition that they are promising? Let me know all of your thoughts around this in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.